Today I'm going to be showing you how to frame your finished embroidery um, in a picture frame. So to do this you'll need a couple of things. You'll need uh, regular tape, masking tape. I like to use this water soluble marker. You can also use a pen or whatever you want to be able to mark your fabric and a pair of scissors. And then you will also need your picture frame. I'll be using this one I got from Hobby Lobby but you can use any type of picture frame. First I'm going to be showing you how to measure your embroidery or your picture frame. So you'll want to start by taking out the off the back and take out the glass and you're actually going to need to use the glass to wrap your embroidery around it. So this part is our most important piece. Um, so you'll take your embroidery and you'll see it's not going to go over it because it, I think it looks better to have it just showing on the other side. You don't want the glass in front of your embroidery because then you like don't get to see the texture and stuff. So we're going to start by flipping it over and putting the glass on the back of it. And we're going to line it up so that we've got the edge right where we want it and the top and the bottom right where we want it so that when you flip it over you can see how it will be lined up. We're going to be wrapping it around that glass piece. So right now, I probably would move it over a little bit more this way since I so that it will be perfectly centered. I'm just kind of eyeing where the flowers end, where the words are, so that I know right when it's perfectly centered. So I've got it right where I want on the sides. So I'm going to start by, I'm going to keep it right on the sides. I'm going to start by marking it on the back where I want it for the sides. So I'm going to use my water-soluble marker that I have. Um, you can use a pencil or a pen or whatever you want. And I'm just going to mark it on the back so that I know right where I want it to line up. Okay, so now I've got the sides. Now i got to figure out the top and bottom, make sure I've got that centered. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it back over. And I just do this so that I can like see where I'm at and if I need to shift it up or down. So where I have it right now, I'd probably shift it a little bit down so that it's a little more even with the top and bottom. And I think right about there is where I want it. So I'm now going to mark the top. So I keep them lined up on the sides, but I'm just going to draw a line again on the top and bottom this time. So now I've marked where in my frame I want the embroidery to sit. Um, you can do one final check just to make sure you've got it all, how you're going to want it to look in the frame. Um, sometimes I even will just lay the frame on top of it to see if I like how it's going to look in the frame. And that looks about right. My next step is going to be to trim along this edge. Um, I want to get rid of this extra fabric so that when I wrap it around the glass, it's not too thick and bulky. If it's too thick and bulky with this extra fabric being folded over, it won't sit nicely in the frame or it might not even fit in the frame. So I want to trim off this extra white. Do not cut the part, the actual embroidered fabric. If you didn't do this second piece of um, fabric like I did, then you won't need to do this step. You can just skip this step. But if you did decide to do two pieces of fabric, I use this one to give it um, to make it sturdier and so that it's not see-through on this side. If you did use this piece of fabric, then you will want to do this. So I'm just going to go around and I'm going to trim off the extra white fabric, not this fabric. Do not cut this fabric. So I'm just going to go around and trim this part off and it will make it so that it's not as bulky in the frame and it will lay flat. So now that I've trimmed all the way around the fabric, this glass piece should be the same size as that white piece that I just cut. So that's pretty good. 
So then comes the next step. So after I've got it all trimmed, I'm going to be working on wrapping this fabric around the glass. So now to wrap the fabric around the, frame, around the glass, I'm going to need my tape. So I've got my clear tape and I've got my masking tape. And I'm going to use both of these um, to get this tape down. Um, when I'm doing this, I'm going to want to make sure that I'm pulling the fabric tight, but not too tight that it's um, warping the design on the other side. So I'm going to start by folding it in over my glass and I'm going to just start, I like to start with the clear tape, it's easier to grab and it's just a good base for my, for taping everything down. So I've got it wrapped over and I know that I'm doing it straight if my glass is completely lined up with the white fabric. So I'll tape that down and I'll start with both of my sides. So. So I've got that kind of in its general location. I can flip it over just to make sure that I like the way it's laying, which I do. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tape down the top part and the bottom parts so that they are secure in their spots as well. And I am pulling the fabric in um, so that it stays tight. It's just like if you had it in an embroider hoop, you would want to keep it tight. The same goes for the frame. You want to keep it tight. So I've got that down for the middle of my, um, for the sides of my embroidery and I actually just want to redo this one because I think I could pull it over a little tighter and that's totally okay to do. So I've got those pulled in. So now I'm going to work on uh, making sure I like it, it's good. I'm going to now use my masking tape just to secure it. So I'll grab a piece of tape that's about as long as the frame is and I'm just going to line it up with the edge of the fabric making sure it's both on the edge of the fabric as well as getting onto the frame. I'm first putting it on the fabric and then making sure that it's pulled onto the glass and then I'll do that for both sides. So this piece of tape I do just to secure the tape. So this was like the initial, like this is where I want it and this is the tape I'm using to secure it down. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the top and the bottom. Now when I get to the corners it can be a little tricky because they get bulky right here as well. So what I do is actually cut the corner of my fabric. You want to make sure that when you're doing this you have your fabric right where it is because if you cut it once it's cut, it's cut. But I'm going to go ahead and cut from this corner to the edge of the glass right there. And this is just going to cut down on the bulkiness when I'm um, trying to put it into my frame. So I'll do that for all the corners. So now I'm going to be folding up the bottom and the top. So I start by doing the same thing I did with the sides. I just want to make sure that it's getting pulled tight, but not too tight that I'm warping the design on the other side. And then once I like, once I have it pulled tight, I'll tack it down with this clear tape. It's just easier to work with the clear tape, so that's why I like to use it. Um, and I'll make sure I get it on both sides so that it's even. And again, I'm just pulling it pretty tight. And now I can do both of the corners and the sides. And I'm just kind of tucking this corner in. Same with this corner. Okay, so now I've got that tacked down. 
and now I am ready for my masking tape and the masking tape again it's just used so that I can make sure that the tape I put down stays in place so this is like the part that seals it keeps it down this masking tape is pretty sticky Just make sure it's really down and then when I flip it over I've got it completely wrapped around my um, piece of glass so I know it's gonna fit in my frame so now I take my frame and I'm ready to put my embroidery inside of it so you just use it like a regular picture frame flip it over stick it in and see how it fits nicely and um, that's because I did trim off the extra bulk of the fabric from the white I've done it where I haven't cut that part off and it's really tricky to get inside of this so I've got that in nicely now I can put the back on put it in there and keep in mind that yeah it is a little thicker so um, you might have to work with it a little bit in the extra of the fabric in push it down you can slide these in place and there I have it I've got my finished um, embroidered photograph